so the rd petrol tank was leaking and i gave it for welding so looks like they have fixed it um, but that said the rubber seal which is under here is uh, hardened so i'll have to take it out and make it soft i'll show you how we do it okay and also there are two different type of screws i'm trying to see if i can get one type either preferably the phillips head but yeah so we need to remove the screws first okay so this is the rubber which has gone little hard uh, but it doesn't look hard but what we can do is we can make it little supple i'll show you how to do it first let's get all the screws ready these are possible candidates uh, i'll have to look for screws actually these are a bit longer and i don't want to use longer screws but first let's get this fixed so the things that you need for this is a microwave safe bowl some water and then obviously a microwave so before my wife comes i have to finish this so let me just put it here a new kit for about 30 seconds 30 seconds itself is a little too high but uh let's see what happens to the rubber So you have to be very careful this is going to be hot So the reason why I recommend a microwave and not boiling it is because microwave actually boils it from the inside unlike the regular stuff so let us just make it a little bit more soft and the result is it is softer as you can see so yeah let's go and install it on so looks like i have to put the old screws because i could not find the new ones so it is not easy to hold the camera in one hand and do this but let's try okay so it is a bit softer than it used to be and since we have boiled it it became a little more supple mm, so let's put it back so that's the end of that
okay some of you keen uh, viewers might ask me why I'm not using thread locker because that's a great idea and it won't leak from the thread so the reason why I'm not using thread locker is uh, this needs to be removed in future if something bad happens to it so I don't want to ruin that chance so now let me find the lid and let's pour some petrol into it so the lid has been fixed and I'm thinking before filling petrol I will touch this paint up so that it doesn't rust I incidentally have the same color with me so let me get so here is some color let's hope it's okay it's almost dry let me make some thinner in it so now is the tough part it was I was lucky that this color was there otherwise this would have looked pretty hideous and people might be thinking why I'm painting this with a brush and not spray painting it because this kind of touching you cannot do with spray painting it will affect the rest of the paint as well since it is just a little bit this technique works better since this is under the bike this would be hardly noticeable but still my for my OCD I need this to be done properly you cannot see this from a distance but if you take a closer look maybe yes So let's see how much it will hold now because welding things is never a good idea you can use multiple ways to fix this like welding is just one option then other option is to use the soldering lid that also does a pretty good job okay so I think that should do now we need to flip it because there is a small spot over here so I need a bit more paint and this as well as that so yeah that is fixed now we have to get the RD out so I'll touch this also since this is not visible outside but since we have gone this far we will also do this part ok so looks like that's it ok we need to close this 
and it has to be airtight so that I can use it another day so probably I'll do that so this goes into the storage all of this is my paint stuff and next thing that we are going to do is we are going to get the RD which is over there so we'll have to move this guy guess who's back so this is to undergo some paint like you can see there is 2k primer I already painted the roof and the mirrors and this side completely but then it started raining and now uh, I can only paint it once the rains are over so yeah that is about that so let me move the zen and then get the RD out so I'll put you guys on a tripod As you can see, it's running, but there is a problem. It's leaking a lot from here, as you can see. So that is because the stud which connects uh, the head is not proper. Let me turn this off. Okay. So this stud is not proper, it's not going all the way down. Um, actually what happened is, when the engine was built last time, uh, at that time, uh, I actually outsourced this work to somebody else. So what they did is, while removing one of the studs, they broke it. And then what they did is, uh, since there was no option left, they bought a bullet stud which has um, by bullet I mean enfield bullet which uh, is little longer and the threads are also different and they somehow jerry rigged it on this so what um, happened is that stud basically took all the threads from the crankcase so now what I have to do is I have to take the engine apart there is an oil leak which I need to address uh, that is coming from one of the oil seals plus at the same time I need to fix this permanently that is the reason why there is a leak and it also you know is making that crackling popping noise so that needs to be fixed now I hope the fuel leak issue is taken care of um, and there is a gap which I'm noticing looks like it is not seated properly so I'll uh, make it go a little bit down and then I'll take it for a test ride now so yeah that was about the video today I hope you guys enjoyed and you know there might be people who might ask how much it cost me to weld the tank it cost me around 200 bucks yes that is right they didn't charge me a lot so now the RD lives for another day otherwise if it was down then I had to you know see other things also rusting now what I have to do is I have to get the silencer plated then while I remove everything I'll also get a small bit of the chassis especially this area painted uh, we need to remove the rear springs and get those plated 
need to buy two mud guards front and back i am seriously considering rd mud guards um, then we need to remove and change these indicators i have new one like those who follow the previous videos will know so yeah the restoration is happening fully i am liking the look of these mirrors so i'm not going to change those i'm going to keep them black because maintenance of chrome is not easy uh, also need to paint the master cylinder and the liver so this would be done properly or maybe i will get a new lever for this who knows uh, like i mentioned both the silences will be plated the entire bike will be detailed and i will go ahead and uh, ceramic coat this so yeah that's about it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please drop a like and do share it with your friends uh, another small request that i have from you guys is um, our subscriber base is pretty small and if we can really help grow this channel so i think that would be of a great help to me and i can post more videos and i get motivated to do more stuff um, finances keep kept aside because these things also cost money so that is not my concern my concern majorly right now is um, if we could get more subscribers so kindly help the channel out feel free to share it with your friends and let them know that there is a channel like this i know a lot of you guys want these videos in hindi a lot of you guys want it in malayalam but uh, first at least one channel should be popular that is when we can uh, create more channels so yeah that is one small request that i have from you guys i hope you guys will help me so thanks a lot for watching have a good night bye bye